Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Jojo Shirley back with another video today. We're playing some Savor Offlane, and we're going to be going a very, very interesting build. For those who saw the thumbnail, it is a, you know, not your typical Savor build. And at first, it looks sort of troll, like, it looks really just wacky, right? Savor, you build here, you build magical damage items, but this is like a physical, like, build. You're building Mutilator, you're building, like, just, like, Ice Gone Talent, it's weird, but it works. It actually works. So I hope to be in this game, we'll be able to kind of show that off and show like how, why it works in the first place and why it may actually be a competitive build for Sevwalk actually. So I'm gonna take a quick peek. Uh, <laughs> okay, always fun. It's always fun to see really um, enjoyable names for sure. So essentially, what this build is, um, it's essentially a build where okay. So I guess the best way to describe it is that Sevwalk has a lot more physical scaling on this Q than magical, dam magical damage. So technically, um, since most of your damage comes from your siphon and auto attacks that weaves in, essentially, it makes you do definitely more damage because Sevwalk is supposed to be like a magical based tank. But because a lot of his damage comes from his Q and all attacks, and both of that scales better with physical power, you can actually do quite a bit of damage. Not only that, by going like Mutilator, you not only get more army fam, so make you even more sustaining, but also Seva loves HP and the fact that you can um, steal HP and, and empower yourself. It's just a really, really strong combo. So I hope to be able to show this um, off this game for sure. Right, so he's shoving this um, wave quite hard, so we're gonna definitely expect that. Oh, what the? there we go. Because right now we're on the dawn side. Oh, dust side, I mean, so that means that the went page is gonna be on the side side off. So we're gonna be kind of trying to chill, not trying to push this wave out anytime soon. So he's gonna hit level 2 right here in the sec, so we're just gonna actually back off. Because we don't want to um, get stuck in the all in against the Grux. So, yeah, now he's taking his time slow pushing for sure. So, as long as we can kind of farm safely and kind of just focus on stacking. Okay, my page is mid by the list of it. Nice. We were to get a really good kill because the, um, ooh, yeah, don't want to fight that. But that was a very, very good job. Yeah, that's actually hype. Let's go. Oh, I missed up my last Q hit. Oh, I should save it for this cannon minion, Bay and Forge, but we'd be chilling still. So I'm gonna see if we can sneak this two above because he kind of wants to catch that wave, right? I, hmm. I'm trying to figure out if he's actually gonna come over here. Okay, I think we can execute it. If he tried to come over last second. Nice. Alright, so we're back up right here. And essentially... We're gonna go grass saver, so again, this is a very weird build, but it's a build that it's, it's gonna work very, very well in the long run. So, since we're against a physical based matchup, we're gonna be going melee later and fire blossom. So, fire blossom is just a really great take item because you wanna do that on Sevwalk for the most part. So, essentially, you, you grab fire blossom second, so you ha you're pretty beefy, do a lot of damage and physical armor. Though I am probably going to take the guard, honestly, just so we can really, really put um, on this kind of works. Hmm. I don't want to step up because it may just honestly kill me and try to fight me, so I'm going to wait for the next wave to crash, then I'll step up to try to last hit this wave a bit better. There's Wembage on the right side, so we don't have to worry about a gank anytime soon. So he's actually shoving this pretty hard, so we're gonna just back off because we don't want to find him in the enemy wave, that'd be kind of bad. They're actually giving up pressure, so we can actually 
hold the wave here so it doesn't crash all the way. This time we'll hold on to a Q because if you kill the um, Kenny minion, you get more stacks off that. So it's definitely worth trying to save your Q because it's worth like three minions, I believe. I can't tell if he's mid or not. He's definitely been kind of MIA for a bit. Hmm. Not sure where he's at still. Oh, messed that up. Nice. Alright, now he's back over here. Hmm. See right there, we actually shrunk with the kills. That's what I mean by you get a bit more um, scale, better scaling in terms of damage because of the increased physical versus magical. So we can wave, wave kills and we can actually kind of pawn them a bit. Oh yeah, we pawn them. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of damage. And you got the kill, yeah. <laughs> because he didn't have blinks, so there's no way he can actually get out of that. Oh, there's a huge fight going on in the faint tooth by the looks of it. So they might actually get on it. Yeah, the, that's the bot lane dead, so they're definitely going to be trying to do the faint tooth in a sec. So let's grab two above and kind of look for a um, reset right here for now. Just because Bros is about to be kind of back to kind of clear that wave, so I want to make sure I get a good kind of reset here. And when page, we can see him is actually. Wait, did he not do the... He didn't do the feint tooth, huh? Interesting. <laughs> Are they trying to do it? Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what the... Uh, I, I guess they're not doing that. Because, like, if anything, um, Sevwa's one of those offlane, you really should not be rotating early at all. You need to focus on farming, farming, and farming. So you have to kind of give up the first feint too, no matter who gets it, just so you can kind of um, prioritize building stacks and whatnot. Uh, if I land that um, E, I would just ult the works in. I can do this though. So are they sh hmm, Rampage, mm, I guess he's on the blue camp by now, that's my prediction, I'm trying to figure out where the jungle is at, cause that's the only place I'm worried about, cause as you see, I kind of pwned the Gorks, I'm just worried about the ganks more than anything. Nice, let's go. See the Gorks is back already. Hmm. I guess they're on it. I I I see they were low, so maybe I can actually rotate for this. I'm gonna need to grab the mana buff though, just so I can kind of have. Okay, I guess I'm not on it. So let's actually start it maybe, since I'm I'm here already. I, I, I said not to rotate for painters early, but I saw potential that if they are on it, they were, I could maybe just pawn them because they were kind of low, but it looks like they back off, which is smart. Because if they stay, then I would kind of pawn them. So we're just going to keep DPSing because the jungle is about to be here in a sec. Okay, so now... You have enough DPS to... Nice, we uh, focus him down. But yeah, we just need to bust down the faint twos before the rest of the team collapse on this. Wait, 
very good move by the gadget. Let's go. So now we're gonna actually try to go back left. Grux is gonna actually start to catch up because we kind of give him a free kind of um, wave for a bit. But now we're, we're still very, very strong. And you are about to see, we're gonna really kind of pwn this Grux too. So let's grab these items. Because it's kind of what I mean by it. I don't like going for the first faint to rotation because yeah, we got it. But because I did that, their Grux is almost even CS with me now. He's like 0 and 3, so like if we were even in terms of like um, threat and whatnot, then this could be kind of scary because then he can actually, um, that kind of edge I had will be gone. Thankfully, I'm kind of fed, so I still have the edge on him. It's just now he's starting to catch back up, so I need to be a little bit careful of that. Oh, messed that up. How he is okay, he's not actually rotating by the looks of it. Okay. He doesn't have first item just yet. Hmm. Yeah, we dodge that. Put E right there and then we can just kinda of walk out. So we're just chilling. Don't need to use our ult because we have an R B and the E to kinda of get out. Actually, I'm gonna put a wood. Yeah, he's still looking, so I'll be chilling still. He's gonna throw a cube, but he can't. He doesn't get anything out of it, honestly. My crush is here, so we can. Oh, uh, my crush is here. I mean, so we can two v two. Web page actually backing off, so I can kind of maybe bait if I heal. Oh, it looks like he's kind of scared, so that's actually fine. Yeah, you want to do the mini, so which might actually just join him in a sec. Yep, I'm gonna help him just because I know the rampage is around, so I don't want the coin flip the mini prime when there's no need to. So definitely, him giving it to me is gonna be the really really good call. Oh, uh, he gets it. That's actually fine. It would be really good if he gives it to me because I can actually keep pushing. Sevo is, is amazing with the prime buff, but that's fine because he's been doing some good jungle work. So I'm definitely trust him. I trust him to take it for sure. Because yeah, he's actually gonna try to get the T1 mid, so that's actually kind of smart. Kinda hard to kinda chunk him when he's he has to have he has some army fed, but yeah, he has guys split, so he's kinda life stealing, so it's kinda hard to ch chunk him because he's kinda heal that back up. So we need to look to try and maybe potentially all in him here in a sec. I'm just a little oomph on mana is the issue. I'm actually gonna maybe rotate because maybe I can grab the river buff and keep pushing left and potentially um actually maybe go uh I think it's a little bit too late but I'm gonna help the Fae push this out because he should kick in oom so I'm gonna yeah see how the rampage is here so I'm gonna make sure Yeah, he just started this back out damage right there, so that's actually huge. Let's go. Brook is still pushing left, so hmm. I'm gonna see if I can catch the wave if anything. I probably won't be able to kill the Grux, but I can definitely um catch the wave for the most. Uh, actually, I can because he's gonna actually push it in before I get there. Because Grux is very fast at pushing out waves. Ooh, let's see. I can maybe. Oh, uh, it's like pretty much dead at this point. Yep. Carry a coach. So let's catch the last wave and then um, push that out. Maybe go for fainted. They don't need me because they just killed the two people. So they should definitely... Uh oh, Crunch is going to die. So that's actually a different story now. So... We're gonna we're gonna be a little bit late. Okay, it looks like they think they're fine. Crunch is very oomph, that's the only scary part. Um ah uh, the stupid bug. 
Well, like, I'm hands off and it does this, which is very annoying. Okay, let's make sure we grab this. Alright. Yeah, Gross, that's why I thought Gross is gonna rotate for this. So, I'm, I think, yeah, they got it. So, maybe if they look in the fight still, we can maybe go on them. Okay, it looks like they're not. This is a strong one. Okay, it looks like the spell is. Let's actually go back right, um, left then, I mean. Maybe I can actually just invade at this point. I can kind of steal some camps. It'd be really annoying because I'm very, very safe to do this. I see how he's on it, so I think I might be annoying and just try to see if I can do it. <laughs> Still steal some camps. I know the um, Grox is behind us, so I'm going to look to kind of back off here. Hmm. They're still chasing me. So we're actually going to catch the mid wave. Hmm. So we're going to try and fight us. We can just get off, honestly. Really kind of easy to do. Okay, you actually blink for that. Hmm. Gotta be careful because we don't have magical armor, so you can kind of dunk us. Oh wow. See? Now we're gonna try to get out. Good camp. Let's just retreat. Definitely we don't need to risk um, that death. So let's go and catch the left wave. I actually try to like get my T1 on the left. So maybe not going to change it. Oh uh, yeah, that's what I was worried about. I just didn't want... I just knew that it's not safe to kind of stay too long. But I guess he gets out because they will have no way to kind of catch up for the most part. So let's see. I think we just push this wave out and back. Because Gus is going to go here immediately and try to uncover the wave. I guess we gotta pick up the anti-healing, but we're gonna go magical defense just because that how he kinda oofing us, so I kinda wanna make sure I'm building magical defense against him. So let's grab home plate and we're actually gonna build void helm. Just kinda as an anti um magical armor. Anti-magical damage I mean. 151 to Yeah, so we're doing decent for the most part. I think we just totally pulling this box because he's very, very squishy and we're Pretty tanky against him at this point. Hmm. Not sure where the box is at. But we're just gonna just kind of go for the T1 push. We definitely want. We can definitely just get at this point. 114. So we're almost at the 100. What is it? 20 now. Yeah, 120 souls to be able to, um... I think it just died right here. Hmm. I guess I messed up because I wasn't speaking... I, I just missed my arm more than anything. Is he... Why do... If he's walking back up, it means that someone's on this side. Is my guess. So I won't just engage on him. Just be Yeah, see right there. Hmm. So we definitely baited him for sure because the Grux was baiting us but out we baited them in return because the way he was just posturing like there's no reason for the posture like that because I can just own him right? So that's kind of what I saw right there. Yep. So that's definitely the right call 100%. We definitely need the one straight at the faint tooth here in a sec. Nice. Um, go with that faint tooth on my way. Oh, looks like they're looking for angle on right. That's definitely a good call. Oh no. This may turn ugly. Can they get the. Okay. We have ult. Oh no, this is definitely ugly. We need to try to get the ASAP. 
It's about to die. Ah, uh, we were not able to save the gadget, but that's that yeah, uh, spell is definitely an issue. Hmm. They're going for left. I mean, I might as well try to take the team on the right, and Quush can maybe push it for Bane twos. Cause I have a big wave right here. They're not pushing anymore, they're actually trying to defend. So it's, it's a good call by you surely to actually keep pushing. We see them trying to come up behind us, so we're just going back up. Okay, we're gonna try the. Nice! That's actually huge, let's go. The whole team is there, we can honestly go for Prime. Oh, I can actually look at the spell. Oh, I can go for a tier buff, because on the blue buff is my favorite buff to take, so I'm kind of green for this. I don't think spell is gonna push, right? She shouldn't be pushing right now. Wait, okay, this worked. Oh, it kind of hurts. But we hurt more, ladies and gents, so we're definitely kind of chilling. Let's go. Enemy tower under thank you, thank you. I'm gonna back so I can get Boy Helm and gonna go Tainted Guard 100%. Enemy towers go, yeah, we definitely want to do that. Just because the strongest person is dead, so it's definitely, yeah, let's do it. So finish off Tainted Guard, probably go anti-armor iron, because that spell is actually hurting us, so we actually need to build more beefier against her. Ghost is pushing, so let's see if we can maybe get a pick on him. Oh, he just went here. Make sure he doesn't blink or do anything silly, so nice, nice. Um, I'm gonna try to catch the left wave. Actually, I can just oomph this wave and it should push by itself. So, on my way. So, I guess I should attack mid and I can split push left is what I'm trying to do. So that was a very excellent split pusher. So, I should definitely um, try to take this T2 town while they try and push a mid. So it looks like they may be fighting. I'm gonna. I think they're fine. And then that fine spell actually engages. Oh, <laughs> wait. Okay, I was like, that's almost bad because they can kill my crunch. But um, I guess we won't find out because they just f up right there. Hmm. I mean, I guess it's unassemble. I mean. We will obviously um, partial to end the game right there, so it's, it's just a, it's just a little it's just a little disappointing. Well, not disappointing. I guess a little frustrating because I actually was trying to record a ton of different games. So I actually initially have this video planned for last Friday, but but um, I have too many people just kind of FFing early. Like I have too many games where it'll, the game will only go fifteen minutes. I just I just cannot get a good kind of proper showcase of this build so because like this is just a really really kind of fun build that's always slated to get enough on the Tuesday patch so that's why I kind of wanted to try to get this kind of video in ASAP but unfortunately it just it takes me it takes me it, sorry it took me a little bit too long to um record this game unfortunately so this is gonna be the this game is gonna Obviously, it's going to be right before the Tuesday patch, but I think for the most part, this build is going to be still kind of viable for the most part. So let's just take a quick look at the damage though, because we should be seeing uh, more physical damage. Wait, huh, magical, uh, we did more magical damage to heroes. That's interesting. Yeah, maybe I wonder if it's because of the Fire Blossom Fox that's doing a lot of that damage, because we were definitely doing a good amount of 
a physical damage um, early on be because of the increased scaling on the Q. So maybe, huh? I I would been I would I I get I predicted that this ratio would be closer just because we're building a lot of um, physical power at least initially. But I guess because several has magical damage on its abilities and technically you're only doing um, more physical damage on like your Q. You don't I don't yeah. Sorry, I'm a little bit kind of lost of a voice right now. It's been a long week for sure. But essentially, um, the reason why this build works is because you see right here, A percent physical scaling. So essentially, this is just like the Revenant kind of um, issue. Well, because he has so much magical scale, he's supposed to be a physical based carry, but because you have so much more magical scaling on his ability, you can go full magical build and do what's called a mage web build which you guys may have saw me do well you just do a ton of damage with the q and e so essentially the same thing with sevog well it's not as bad because technically you only get the physical scaling on your q but the fact that you have more physical scaling than magical scaling on q you can actually get some good fire out of just being physical at least for like one two items just because you do a lot of damage with your auto attack so like doing building physical power will also increase your basic attack damage and essentially um you're just gonna get more benefit from your Q so it makes Sephiroth's Q deceptively like stronger early on if you build go actually build physical power because normally Siphon is like a scaling scaling kind of a ability just being able to get more stacks based on your passive and whatnot but if you just build purely like physical power like meter later you you saw like I was doing a lot of Q damage surprisingly which is the reason why this build is it's just kind of like I want to say I, yeah I think it's a little disgusting because several is supposed to be more like a magical tank but the fact that you can build meal later go ice gone talents and build physical power on a magical scaling champion it's just it's just weird right it's I mean League of Legends have tons of champions that have dual scaling for the most part but at the end of the day they're all kind of identify with a magical or physical base kind of damage and the fact that Sephiroth is supposed to be a magical based tank but he's also very viable as a physical base um tank is kind of interesting and questionable for sure because you saw me throughout the game well essentially mutilate is a really really good item in general and the and the fact that you can build this on Sephiroth makes it a little disgusting because um Sephiroth loves the ability haste, he loves the HP and the fact that he can do additional damage on his QE and all that kind of stuff um, based on HP makes Sephiroth hits harder while also stealing HP and benefit his whole kit. Like this is supposed to be, imagine this is like a magical based item, that's like Sephiroth item you go every game. But the fact that it is physical based means normally Sephiroth shouldn't be building this but because of the scaling kind of thing that Sephiroth has you can actually do meal later which is I don't think I don't think that's intentional, which is why they're, they're nerfing his um, physical base scaling and they're decreasing his um, healing too. Because another reason why is because the army fam on the meter later. So essentially, you combine the army fam with this and with the um, like the siphon like life steal on this kill makes like Sephiroth's life um, sustain early on very very kind of good. And then from there, you just kind of go with the normal Sephiroth build. Well, like essentially, the, what makes this build very interesting is going to meal later and ice one talents because ice one talents actually kind of disgusting Sephiroth because what this means is people can never catch you and you can stick to people so so well because you just go on top of them, you pop this, they're slow, makes it really easy to land your E and the whole, your whole combo essentially. Or they try to chase you, you dash, you E, you R, and you pop this behind you, no one's gonna catch you, and that's just makes Sephiroth very very annoying to deal with, kind of thing, and so. Essentially, you just kind of go with the regular build after being a later and um, Ice Gone Talents. So you go like Fire, fire Blossom. That's kind of an item that's just really good on tanks and of course very good on Sevrog. You may, you actually don't need this. You can, since you actually get a ton of fire from melee in terms of damage and all that, you can actually drop the Fire Blossom. I just kind of like it on Sevrog personally. Just for like, it just gives you all the stats you want and the physical armor is very, very nice while also doing more damage. And after that, you just kind of build whatever like the team is building. So you're still trying to build several kind of beefy for the most part. So you go like tanks and guard if you're wanting to like a lot of healing for the enemy team. Um, if they have, they have a pesky countless or any magical lifesteal based heroes, then you go like with the tank and bastion. Crystalline is also really good. Foy helmet is really good. 
unbroken was really good. Just all these different items that uh, like make you more beefier. Personally, makes you beefier and do a little bit more damage. But if you're going more purely like tank, for your helmet, unbroken are very good items on him. And of course, but Stonewall is very, very good on him as well. You can actually, you can actually go Jakun on him because since you this is a physical kind of base build, you get benefits once you get from physical power, you get physical armor, ability haste. You can doing more increased healing, so essentially you have a good amount of life steal at base kit and with me later. So the fact you can benefit that, it also makes it a kind of more fun item that can actually work well. But yeah, that's kind of about it. Like it's just essentially you. Um, the only thing that makes this Seva build very interesting is the melee leader, Ice Cone Strat. After that, you kind of just build Seva normally out. They just build items that's recommended for him and items that are good against the enemy team. So, very, it's just a very, very fun build for sure. It's definitely getting nerfed away because in the, the patch notes they just released, well, they're decreasing his scaling on his Q and I think they're decreasing his um, healing, Siphon like healing as well. But it's not butchering this, so you can still do this build. It's just not going to be as impressive, I guess. Or it doesn't feel as strong, but I think it's still a viable, fun kind of strat if you really want to spice up your set bar gameplay. So anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. And let me know down in the comments what other heroes or other builds you want me to showcase. And I'll see you guys in the next commentary video. Peace.